Malaysia is an easy country to fall in love with. I'm with someone who first came here to fly helicopters over jungles and rivers. And then he discovered the food here. Today, Steve Day is on a mission to promote KL's culinary culture. He's flying the country's top chefs into downtown KL to launch the mega food event of the season, the Malaysian International Gourmet Festival. So Steve, what's the next helicopter pilot like yourself doing running a gourmet festival in Malaysia? If you're a tourist, what do you remember most about your stay? Food. Food. And we've got the best food in the world in Malaysia, but we were really underselling ourselves before by not promoting our fine dining capabilities. And it's not just the food, it's our relaxed way of dining. And it's in, in all the different ambiences. And uh, I think that's what I love most about Malaysia is it's, it's a very, very, very good place to live. It's very relaxed and festively people friendly. So um, we had this idea of the festival. And what we want to do is promote our local chefs. And the residents, resident chefs are here. They can be German, French, as well as Malaysian. But by promoting our local chefs, we're telling that you can have this quality standard all year round. Yeah. I've been in this business on television for a little over 10 years, and I, I, I feel like I'm fading, and it's fading fast. No, you've got to become a chef. That's what I'm thinking. It's the only thing you can do. If I'm going to survive, yeah. I need to become a great chef. Steve's right. TV today can't seem to get enough of celebrity chefs. With the opportunities Kale has on offer, I figure getting in with this crowd could set me up with a culinary career. Gourmets, gastronomes, gourmands, or dare I say gluttons, vegans, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, pantomagists, ravenous, hungry hordes and lovers of fine dining. Welcome to the launch of the Malaysia International Gourmet Festival. The Gourmet Festival kicks Kale's fine dining scene into overdrive. The cuisine might be aimed at high-end restaurants, but for the city's top chefs, the inspiration comes from Kale's legendary street food. It's a city obsessed with eating. All kinds of food, all the time, everywhere. To find out how local flavors influence the capital's international cuisine, my gourmet festival connections have got me a crash course at one of Kale's premier hotels. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Welcome. The Mandarin Oriental's executive chef, Dirk Haltenhoff, feels right at home in Kale's culinary landscape. All my positive energy and influences is basically based in Kuala Lumpur. The guys here, they welcome me and they teach me basically a lot of things. About what? Asian, they teach, Asian they cooking? teach, yeah, they, you know, I'm, I'm good in Western cuisine, Italian cuisine, Mediterranean, French, all those. But uh, I came here, there are a lot of, a lot of um, ingredients, spices, vegetables I've never seen. Fruits, mangosteen, I love it, I've never seen. And then they took me in the first, in the first week to a night market. And that's an amazing market, there were products like three, four football fields full of vegetables. Local ingredients and flavors have opened up a new window of creativity for Dirk. Today, I'm supposed to help him prepare a dish for the gourmet festival. At last year's event, Dirk won top prize. Let me think, there was a competition, it was called Gourmet Fest, no, it was Malaysia Truly Asia Cuisine Contest. It's a super long word for basically the idea of having a signature Malaysian dish into a Western cuisine. So my dish was a Mazaman curry cappuccino, which was the base of a chicken curry. People here, they love chicken curry, so I did the Mazaman curry cappuccino, which was for them something apparently not too bad, actually. For you to come up with a, a European dish with an Asian twist, it, it, should, it should come naturally, really, when, when you come to think that you are a European guy with an Asian twist. <laughs> yeah, you're, like you're, not, yeah. you're actually true, that's actually, you're right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I actually like to do it, you know. I, I kind of cannot imagine to go back now where I come from. Okay, Jamie, now listen yes. up. I need immediately carrots, broccoli, arugula, safe, chive, egg yolk, chopping, onion, sour cream. I need that now, immediately, please. Uh, zucchini, zucchini, I'll be sure to come up with two Mmm. Mmm. Ah! Ah! 
Jamie, ready to go? Come, come, come. come. Uh -huh. Okay. Send this out, huh? Are you ready? You just put this right in the center. Yeah. Right now. Nah. Oh, here we sir. go, here That's we go. Good? Very well. Uh, voila, huh? You're not totally useless. I prepared something for you. Now you can lift your head off. You are the... For me? For you, my for friend. For me? You are the new junior chef. <sighs> Thank you so much. Being a celebrated chef gives you creative license to do what you want. Kale's international culinary scene has given me a taste of a lifestyle that I could really get used to.